Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about something. I found a really nice interesting tool that you should also uh, learn about and uh, for that I need to give you a little context. So before we switch to the actual tool, let me give you a little background. So you've read the title and uh, you want to know what's that all about. First, let me give you the background that I was telling. So I'm a QA since 2008, since that means 13 years. 13 years and a half right now if we're counting and still going strong and uh, trust me in this uh, period I had the pleasure to work with uh, numerous uh, type of tools and so on different projects and yeah I, I, but I haven't yet used them all and uh, this video is gonna show you why and I'm gonna tell you about this awesome tool that I just found so I also started with test cases in Excel, but if you're still doing that in 2021, I mean, you gotta step up your game. If you're in the IT industry and you're still doing test cases in Excel, uh, bugs in Google Sheets or Google Docs and so on, then you need to change something. You really need to change something. Yeah, I had the same issue and I also had a big... <laughs> headache trying to generate reports from those test cases when uh, by the end of the release the manager wanted some reports okay how many test cases did you actually run this uh, sprint or this uh, release and i was like uh, how do i generate that and i was like yeah but also that gave me a little introduction to automation since i was forced to work with uh, to create macros in visual basic and read data from uh, excel sheets what does a qa need to be productive from my point of view we need the trifecta yeah we need three things we need test cases task slash bug management and we also need integration with automation i mean review continuous integration so on so on so on and if those are in separate tools well that adds a little complexity and effort for tracking generating uh, reports and so on so on this is where ado comes in hand so but what is ado because ado what's that so azure devops is a fully integrated set of uh, services that provide with all the tools necessary for building and maintaining a backlog. So this means from hosting your source code, impl implementing continuous integration, continuous delivery, testing your workflows, so on, so on, that uh, there are a lot of things, but in, in short terms, because I, I could talk a lot, but this video is not sponsored by them and nobody told me to make their commercial. I just want to share my experience with this tool. In short terms, it's basically everything you need to make and launch a product. And since we are still QAs, let's get back to the topic, yeah? I mentioned the trifecta. Number one, test cases. Okay, let's take them step by step. Test cases in Nado have a separate section, which is called test plan which is really nice where you can create your suite of test cases and group them by whatever you want you can um, for example you have a story right you get the story and then you got to start working on it because as a QA before the uh, story gets fully implemented you have to uh, create test cases based on the specification then you go to that story in ADO click the add the new link or related link how is it called click tested by as relationship uh, type select test cases as item type and put a name for that test cases and click create and that's it your test cases was your test case was created that fast also ado has a really nice functionality implemented that you can select and uh, group your test cases based on whatever you want for example, most common that I use and my colleagues also use, requirement-based suit, which means that you can create a suit of test cases based on that user story. You just search for that user story and then you create your uh, suit. Simple as that. You add a new test case based on that story, it will appear in that suit. Later on you discover some new test cases that were not in that story. Just add them and automatically those will be added to your um, test plan suit. Easy, easy peasy. Now, there are also some really nice features like 
query based suit, which means you can create a suit of test cases with whatever you can think of. If you can make a query with it, then you've got that suit of test cases because it's query based. So anything you can make a query, you want a suit of test cases that were run for the sprint X, I don't know, make a query for that. You want a suit of test cases that were automated, make a query for that. I'm sure there's a field or there's a tag or there's something that you can relate and use so that can be grouped on. Also, let's not forget, a really nice important feature, it keeps track of execution history and we're not talking only about manual automation also. And also any test case can have different configurations for easier maintenance. Let's say, for example, you have a test case that tests a website, let's say, and you want to test it on four different browsers, like say Chrome, uh, Mozilla, Firefox and Internet Explorer. What do you do? Do you create the same test cases four times? No, you just assign configurations. You create different configurations and same test case can be assigned those four configurations. So now you have four test cases, four, with different configurations and makes your life much easier. So you can run them step by step. If one fails, you'd only fail that one. You don't have to fail all of them. And also you don't have to create four test cases by default. You assign the proper configuration and that's it. Now, there are also a lot of important features like um, attachments, setting predefined uh, data. For example, if you want to use the same data in multiple test cases, then you just need to do that and easy peasy, like I said. But one that I really, really like is the fact that uh, when running a test case, you have a test runner, a Windows pops up and you can uh, start executing your test case step by step. And then on the top, there's a little uh, button called create a bug. So you can, if you're executing a test case, you can already create a bug from that. Talk about integration, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. But you heard enough about test cases. Let's move on because I'm sure you all wanna know about the other two, task management and bug tracking. So there isn't much to say here if you have you have everything you need, like, I don't know, boards, sprints, reports, easy navigation between items. There are about 10 different ways to create a bug. And I'm, I'm not kidding, more than 10 ways. At least I found 13, 14, 14 different ways to create a bug from the board, from the sprint, from the test case, from the story, I don't know. And also, let's not forget about the board. The board and the sprint can move, you can move easily tasks between each other, between uh, one state to another, from new to ready to develop to active to resolve to close, and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. Yeah. Also, I think it was really designed properly and contains everything you need. There's nothing to say. Task management, big thumbs up. I mean, test case keys, thumbs up, task management, thumbs up. And I mentioned about the trifecta, right? So the third topic, automation. Here is what I will say uh, things go really neat is the fact that you have the possibility to perform a review straight out of ADO. So in ADO, besides test cases, task management, bug tracking, so on, you also have reviews. You can uh, do your code review directly in ADO, link to your pull request and also you can link with your pipelines, you can create pipelines if you need and also since uh, in our project we write code in C Sharp and we use uh, Visual Studio as IDE, this integrates really smoothly with ADO since it's also a Microsoft product. Just go in the Visual Studio when you finished your test case, right click on it from the test explorer and associate test case. It will pop up if you never logged into ADO, a link so you can uh, log in and connect the two. And that's it. Enter the test case number, boom. Your test case is now marked as automated. You will be, depending on what type of schedule did you add it, or 
uh, when do you want it to run how often and so on so on so on you will see reports Every, everything is done smooth integration i mean come on what do you want more and also a uh, neat feature for automation is the ability to view the reports directly as i mentioned previously there's a test case execution history it doesn't matter if it's manual or automated it, there's a history you can see it there and also you can set up your test cases to be run in whenever a certain build uh, pops up i mean automation you can set it up the automated test to run with a certain pipeline and so on so on so continuous integration continuous delivery i would say to the max i mean as far as i've seen this is the maximum level of integration and damn it's awesome <laughs> Now I've talked about the main features uh, for QA. There are some honorable mentions and let's not forget about all. Ado has a wiki. So you can document everything you need and also uh, all the needed uh, information. For example, you want to document your workflow. You work in automation a certain way. You want to create your branches with a certain name. Just do a page on the wiki. It's, it's the same tool. Also, let's not forget about other things that are really nice. Retrospectives, because everybody, I mean, mostly everybody this day is working on uh, Agile, Agile methodology. So you're going to have all the respected ceremonies, one of them being retro. Well, Ado has retrospective built in. Just go there, you fill it, put whatever fields you want. Even that, it's really customizable. Everything is made so you can customize to the i don't know to your sp specific project needs and requirements did i talk about dashboards you can generate dashboards via a query for example i want to see which of my tests with the tag uh, smoke actually run I create a dashboard for that that dashboard is saved i can see it every day i can set alerts i can set to Notify me via email. It's basically a heaven for QA. And let's not forget management because management likes to see reports and so on. So it's easier life for me and also for them because you as a QA lead, you're going to need to generate reports, statuses and so on. So it's really nice when you can work with a tool that has something like this built in. Yeah. I don't know what else. Queries, I talked about queries. You can save your queries, you can share your queries, you can do whatever you want. So let's draw the conclusion because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm gonna say. I mentioned earlier, it's basically everything you need to make and launch a product. And I stand by that statement. This tool is the perfect composition for any type of engineer. QA, dev, PM, BA. I just regret not seeing it earlier and wanted to share my personal experience with you. And let's not forget, I'm only using it four months. Four months already? Four months. There are still a lot of features that I maybe I don't know about them. So thanks for watching. If you've uh, reached this uh, time of the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and comment down below what would you like to see about Dado or what type of tools do you use for test case management for bug tracking how do you do code reviews for your automation thanks for watching see you in the next one bye